What we have here is a demonstration of Modbus between two small PLCs. We have the master PLC right here with some switches hooked up to the X inputs. Out of port 2 we have a serial cable running over to port 2 of our second PLC which is acting as the Modbus slave. And this PLC has no program in it right now. Currently the only program it has is a single end statement. There's no ladder logic in here at all. In the master PLC, we do have a very short program. We have a Modbus communication box, an instruction. It's the send instruction used for sending serial data out. According to this box, it's going to use Modbus protocol and be talking to slave ID number one, Modbus function code, which is to write to a single coil. The slave address is coil Y1. That's going to be the first discrete output on the slave PLC. And we have set that up as slave address number one. Over here, the input, where it gets the bit information to put into coil Y1, is the X1 input of the master PLC. So the idea is when I flip X1 on and off on this PLC, as you can see the green light coming on right there in channel X1, that it should drive the Y output number one on the slave PLC. Now the Modbus box over here in the master is controlled by a contact coming off of input X2. So I can also turn off the Modbus communication just by turning off my X2 switch. And we can see that right here. If I look at the transmit and receive lights on port number two, we don't see any blinking activities here because switch X2 has been turned off. When I turn switch X2 on, now we see dim green lights on the transmit and receive telling us it's very rapidly transmitting and receiving bits. So with X2 turned on, that's highlighted in the master PLC's program. We're activating the Modbus communication box. Now, any information in bit X1, the input of the master, should be sent to bit Y1, the output of the slave. So here we go. X1 turns on. You can see the green light right there for the X1 input. It's on. Now I come over here, and the Y1 output, that red light right there, is on on the slave PLC. Now I come over here, I turn the X1 input off, and I go over to the slave PLC, and we see the Y output is now off. So, could you please turn the X1 input on and off there? I've got a associate of mine turning the switch on and off. Go ahead. On and off. So we see we have remote control of the master PLC to the slave PLC, writing one of its output bits.